Hey YouTube, just wanted to make a quick video regarding this new enclosure build out of just some old wood I had for a rack. Um, this structure right here was already here, it was part of a storage unit when we moved in. I uh, just finished up hanging this melamine, it's 2x4 melamine, well it's like 2x4 and a quarter I believe and um, so I hung it a little high just to give it a little bit of a, um, a facade over the canopy. Um, then I had to find the studs and screw in these supports because once I cut this to size, you can see we've got some, uh, well, I guess it's more than four and a quarter because we've got uh, there's about four feet, one inches for each, um, for each piece. So I've already measured the length of that, and these are perfectly vertically level. So measured that bottom part out, so I'm just going to cut that out. Um, I'll have a center support for the for the floor, or maybe I'll uh, I'll add a uh, L bracket, a couple L brackets, um, to make it sturdy. Um, but overall, I mean, I've got you know so many screws. In these supports and basically all the weight is going to be hanging off this top support and this lower support here the melamine isn't going to be attached to the um, the wall at all I'll probably seal it and uh, do a little bit of a faux rack background but this is a um, roughly a four by eight enclosure by two uh, two feet depth um, I've already installed the light here as I go just to just to give it a little bit um, give myself some working room. Now it's kind of a wimpy light for this big of an enclosure, but I'm probably going to be adding some LEDs on later. Um, and um, it's going to be a mixed um, species exhibit. Um, so I'm, I mean, I'm going to put the the Morelia bread lie up here um, when they're larger. But um, currently, I'll have the blood pythons here, and then when the Morelia are bigger. I don't have to worry about them kind of fighting at all. Um, they should stay out of each other's way. I know they're from two completely different continents, but um, you know they're snake species that require a lower. Um, well, the bread lie can handle really cool temperatures, and the bloods will um, actually uh, enjoy uh, not being so hot, warm, but not being so hot. Um, so yeah, this is just kind of the beginning. Um, it will be a glass front, and I will be using recycled glass, so it'll kind of be a hodgepodge of um, glass. Um, so the it won't be a completely you know flat, um, undisturbed or uninterrupted piece of glass. It'll be a little bit broken up, um, but yeah, stay tuned. I will be adding some more videos as I get further. Um, I just wanted to make this quick video because usually when I get into these kinds of, kinds of projects, I just kind of um, get rolling and I uh, don't really document. So uh, you can see some of the aluminum tape that I had for this, um, this wood here when it was a snake rack. Um, but yeah, hope you guys continue watching. Thanks for subscribing and following. Uh, very much appreciated and uh, yeah stay tuned thanks you guys all right guys thanks for staying tuned um, I decided to add this clip to the first video that I made so just the beginning of this video um, didn't think I'd get this far today but I uh, kind of stuck with it um, took me a while many hours um, I don't have a power saw, so I hand uh, sawed everything, as you can see by the rough cuts. But that's getting all filled in by a uh, wood filler, and um, the enclosure will be painted. So don't mind the two-tone at all. Um, I decided to use um, this uh, board here, pegboard, um, for the vent. So um, if you remember from the previous part of the video, there's this uh, gap that was uh, left over from from adding this um, melamine because I didn't want to cut it down long ways. Um, but 
this serves as the ventilation and um, so I'm not going to leave the ball the sorry the ball the wall bare it's gonna be uh, styrofoam so multiple layers of styrofoam mostly for insulation and then um, I could also do a custom background to that as well um, let's see all the the corners have screws that are countersunk in um, this two these two pieces here this is actually quite sturdy I'm trying to it's not there's no sag or anything like that but this is two pieces that was kind of difficult to do I had had to add a bracing uh, towards the center of this um, enclosure just to hold these two pieces up while I um, kind of um, made it a little bit more st structurally sound so these spacers these wooden spacers here kind of keep this from blowing in um, and out um, and it also adds to support uh, this, I guess, I don't know, top beam, you can call it. Um, let's see. So this is all going to be filled in and waterproofed. I still have my tools out. It's a mess. Um, I've got to, well, I'm going to leave these um, uh, aluminum foil tape just because uh, it'll all be covered up. And I'm going to wait on fixing this as well or sealing it because... Um, you know, I want to get this styrofoam in first, but this is the enclosure. And like I said, I'm going to do a mixed exhibit guys. It's, um, you know, zoos do it all the time. Uh, it doesn't even need to be an animal from the same region. Um, I just want to be able to utilize both levels of this, um, enclosure. You know, the bread eye, the breadly pythons will be, the breadless pythons rather, will be, um, you know, utilizing much of the top space, whereas the uh, blood pythons are more terrestrial, so they will be hanging out down here. And I'm going to house um, 1.2 in here. Um, a lot of the big time breeders will house uh, multiple females uh, with their males. So I've seen that in carpet pythons a lot, um, mainly Nick Mutton and uh, Justin Julander. I think I. Uh, I don't know about Nick Mutton, but for sure Justin Julander houses uh, 1.2. Um, let's see, I'm kind of growing it on now. Anyways, guys, uh, got cut out towards the end of that last bit, but thanks for watching. And uh, stay tuned. I forgot to mention that there's going to be a solid piece of glass here. This is 30 inches tall. Um, and then I'm going to have two doors of glass that are going to be 36 inches long. That'll slide like so, and there will be the center um, glass, which will act as uh, the bracing as well. Um, yeah, uh, it doesn't really need much bracing. As you can see, there's not too much weight up here. So no sag. Um, and yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Um, tune in for the next video where I will be finishing it up and possibly adding um, the railing for the glass as well as custom background. I might do the background first before adding the glass just to help with um, 